Oh, look at the size of this berm. Dude, look at the size of that berm. Outdoor Gold presents Mountain Biking Gold. And this is the Grand Staff Trail in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Welcome to Glenwood Springs, the quintessential foothold to outdoor recreation in western Colorado. Glenwood is the main hub to a wide range of outdoor activities such as fly fishing on the Roaring Fork River, hiking in the White River National Forest, skiing at Aspen Snowmass and Sunlight Resorts, rafting on the Colorado, etc., and much more. I come to Glenwood for all these reasons, but today we're mountain biking Glenwood's newest trail. Grand Staff Trail, located on Red Mountain next to the burn scar of the old coal seam fire of 2002. It's the star of the show. Glenwood, Carbondale, and Newcastle have always been known for fantastic rides, but the Grand Staff Trail takes it to the next level. I actually didn't know about this trail until a couple weeks ago on my whole enchilada film, a fellow YouTuber gave me some beta and a comment for this ride. I read your guys' comments. I love great feedback. Hat tip, Colorado Outdoor Paintball. Just a couple seconds ago, we saw some aerial footage of the Glenwood Springs Community Center. In this film, that's exactly where we'll be starting. There's another parking lot option closer to the climb, but most of the time it's full. So accessing the climb from the community center doesn't really come at much of a time penalty. It's usually the best option. This trail is a standard Colorado style ride where you have basically a mountaineer climb all the way to the top and you're descending all the way to the bottom in what's basically a zero sum game. So everything you climb, you will lose. What a neat view on the other side. I used to always go up to those radio towers. Look down in here, that's a good spot to have lunch. Grand Staff Trail is an intermediate trail with black diamond options. It contains some very big and tight berms in combination with the opportunity to catch some air. The flow out here keeps you guessing, but if you maintain your speed, you clear the jumps. Finally. The road going to the top will give way to some flatter terrain. You'll almost be there. When you get to the trail at the very top of the hill, there's not really any marquee neon signs. It's right there on the left, so that's where you're going to start. It's a lot warmer today. All right, Grand Staff it is. Get the high gear. That. That's it. <laughs> now we're at the beginning of our descent. This is obviously filmed on two separate days with a cold to the job on my stickers. Oh well. I highly recommend giving this trail a pre-ride before you totally bomb it to get a feel for the jumps. The area is moderate exposure. And finally, if you continue going along the road at the top, you'll only get to an overlook. That's it. Now we'll talk to you on the other side. It's a little tight right there. A little exposed. There's no berms on the top, but you're going to see some massive berms on the bottom. Tight right there. Part one, you make a turn right. Hit it right there. Okay, we're going to do another section.
gets kind of burby right here. Lots of braking. High gear. Grabs it for the extreme day. Fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Have a good one. Okay, this is the tightest turn. Right there. <laughs> really good practice for endo turn. I do not have that skill yet. <laughs> that was quite funny. If you're fun familiar with this trail, definitely put in a good pre ride for it. That's a really nice flow right here. Woo! Pedal strike. Ride right, this thing while you can. Because I bet a hundred bucks that these brake bumps get violent here pretty quick. This trail's getting wildly popular. Speed up. Whew. Okay. That would get really burning.
Maybe a little more speed off that turn to hit that double. enough speed. <laughs> There's a high line and a low line. up right there you'll see a trail crossing an intersection between our grand staff trail and cross trail we'll frequently run into oh, hikes right there i got a little discombobulated because there's the trail junction right up there i have to admit i consider to be a lawyer in the past Especially since I cased that jump. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. Oh, Really good flavors out here.
That's tiring, but fun. My gimbal's back to its shenanigans again. Okay. Probably have to recalibrate it again. Yeah. Now we're wrapping up the Grand Staff Trail and we'll be making our way back to the parking lot at the community center. But first, we've got some housekeeping. I had some questions on the trail for what my splash guard on the my front fork is for. Believe me, it has purpose. Some Colorado trails out there. You'll see some dogs walking their humans on the trail. Sometimes the humans fail to get the business done prior to the leisurely walk with their canine masters. Moral of the story is watch where you tread, especially on the bottom portion of the trail. Watch out for uphill traffic right here. <laughs> no comment. And that's the paved road that we climbed to get to the top. Anyway, right here we're kind of on the out and back section heading back to town at the community center. You'll see traffic going uphill, downhill, all around you. Be sure to yield uphill traffic in these portions. Watch your speed, especially on the Olsen Trail on the way back. There's some blind corners with heavy brush, and the odds of running into somebody right there are very high, so be very careful. Like these two. Now it's time for our dirt stats. Look at 1,500 feet of climbing, 1,500 feet of descending. It's three and a half miles both ways. So in total, you're looking at a round trip of seven miles. Keep in mind that the trail faces the northeast aspect of Red Mountain, receives minimal sunlight in the late fall and winter. Moisture will struggle to evacuate the area and will require extended drying period in the spring before you can ride it. Also in May, the Gamble Oak Brush is going to leaf out in combination with the growing green grass and the red dirt. The scenery is extraordinary and spectacular. I don't have quality time stats because I was doing too much filming, but I'd say that it probably gets done in two hours. Also for other scenes in Glenwood, minus the hot springs, check out the monument to the Prineville Hotshots who died in 1994 in the South Canyon Fire. Thank you for watching Outdoor Gold's Mountain Biking Gold version of the Grand Staff Trail. This is Mountain Biking Gold. This is one of my favorite trails. We'll catch you on down the road. Namaste, Narmasters.